In the video I did previous to this, we talked about combining like terms. And in today's lesson, adding and subtracting polynomials is virtually the same thing. We're going to take it a little bit further than we did in the last lesson, but basically we're going to be just combining like terms and simplifying each expression as we do it. Um, so there's three steps to doing this. Number one, removing any brackets. So we first want to remove the brackets and sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's a little more complicated, but uh, that's the first thing we do. Second thing we're going to do is group the like terms together. Make sure we're adding and subtracting the like terms. And then we combine those like terms by adding and subtracting and uh, to, simplify, to finish it off and simplify the expression. So the first thing here, we just got two uh, brackets, two expressions that are added together. So the first one, I, there's nothing in front of it. Okay, so I can just drop the brackets. I can rewrite it like this. Well, the second bracket just has a plus sign in front of it, which doesn't change anything inside the bracket. There's no number in front, just a plus. We could we could pretend it's a one in front of it, multiplying by a positive one. But when you multiply by a positive one, nothing changes. So what I have is I can drop the brackets. Negative six x squared plus two x minus six. And what I can do is I can just take and uh, rearrange it now. So I'm going to do it from uh, high, the, the term with the most x's in it to the most of the least. So I'm going to go from in lower in degree, from highest degree to lowest degree. Negative 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. I put the x's together plus 14 minus 6. And now we're just going to put these things together. So we're going to do, we're going to, the x squared is by itself, so it's negative 6x squared stays the same. These two terms are like terms. They both have the same letter with the same exponents. And I can add those together. And so I get 7x plus 2x is 9x. And I can put these last two together because they also are like terms. They're, they don't have any letters in them. They're just numbers. So 14 minus 6 is 8. And there is our final answer. So we can just put a little box around that. Now I'm going to do the same question, but I'm going to actually uh, do it a different way. I'm going to bring this thing, bring it over here. It's the same question. I'm going to do it vertically. So what I can do is I can take this thing without the brackets, and I can put them above them above and uh, each other. So the next step that I'm going to take and put it below that one, the 7x would match up with the 2x, since those are like terms, and then plus 14. And I add those things together. So what happens here, again I get negative 6x squared and 2 and, two and, and 7 is 9x and negative 6 plus 14 14 is plus 8 and again I have the same answer as over here. So it doesn't matter if you want to do it vertically or horizontally you can do either either way it's the same thing. Well here's a little question. Write a polynomial for the perimeter of the following rectangle then simplify it. Okay perimeter what's the perimeter of a rectangle what does that mean? The perimeter is the distance around the outside. So how do I find that? Why well, add up all four sides? That's the distance around it. So let's just take and add this together. I got 3x is the one side minus 2 plus I've got 2x plus 1 plus another 3x minus 2 on the other side and plus another 2x plus 1. Well, let's add up the like terms here. So we got, we got x's, 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 and x's. 3 plus 2 is 5, and 3 is 8. 2 more is 10, so that's 10x. And the negative 2 plus 1, negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative plus negative 2 is negative 3. Plus 1 is negative 2. So minus Two. That is a simplified version of the uh, perimeter of that shape. If I knew what x was, I could plug it in and get the perimeter of that rectangle. 
So I've taken and added the four sides together and re just reduced it by adding like terms. Okay, let's go down these uh, add and subtract, a couple more examples here. Again, we're going to take and we're going to take in 3x squared. I can drop the brackets here because they're just pluses. I can just forget about the brackets. I get plus 9x squared plus 5x, those together, plus 2x plus 7 minus 5. Okay, so let's do those to x squared, so it gives you 12x squared. Uh, 5x and 2x is 7x. And 7 minus 5 is plus 2. Again, that's my answer. I just simplified that whole expression to three terms. So what we're doing here is we're writing it to get rid of the brackets, rearranging it. Again, if it's just a plus sign, nothing else there, I can drop the brackets. Now we have to be careful about this. Make sure there's only a plus sign in front. I just squiggle out those brackets because it's not important at this point. I have 8x. Uh, are there any more x's there? Yes, there is over here, plus 2x. I'm going to have uh, 7y, let's just change colors here, plus 7y and uh, plus 4y. I'm going to have a, let's see here, there's a z, minus 5z, any more z's? Yes, minus 3z. And just, just, let's just take and pull this over a little, we need a little bit more space here, okay? And then what we're going to do is look for numbers. Was well, a 5, so it's plus 5, and a minus 8. Okay, here we, here we go. A plus 2 is 10 x's. And then we've got uh, 7 plus 4 is 11 y. And then, let's see, we're going to negative 5 minus 3 more is minus 8z. Z. And lastly, plus 5 minus 8 is negative 3, which is a simplified version of that huge thing we started with. Okay, we've talked about adding these first few examples here. Let's do one subtract on this is what now pay attention carefully. This is where it can get a little bit tricky, and this is where people start making mistakes. This is where okay. But if we pay attention, we should be fine with this one. First of all, we got 6x plus 7. Let's drop the brackets and rewrite it. 6x plus 7. There's nothing in front of that. What's in front of the second bracket though? That's a minus sign. So it's going to subtract everything in that bracket. It's almost like having a negative one in front here multiplying everything in that bracket and changing the signs. If there's a negative in front, it changes the signs of everything in the bracket. So the positive 2x in there becomes a minus 2x. And the minus 4 inside there becomes a plus 4 because I'm doing the opposite. I'm not just adding it, I'm subtracting it. So that's the probably the key part right there. If you're able to catch that, you're going to be okay. So we've got that. If you remove the brackets, now you rearrange the term 6x minus 2x plus 7 plus 4. We just rearrange this. The x's are together, the numbers are together. And then we can just put the x's together. 6x minus 2x is 4x. Uh, 7 plus 4 is 11. Those ones there. And that's our final answer. So we're done. Simplified that thing to 4x plus 11. Let's do a couple more examples here. Got two more to go here. And um, here we go. Again, the first bracket has nothing in front, which is nice. I can just drop that bracket and write out the expressions that were inside it. The next bracket, I have to change the sign and everything inside that bracket because it's subtracting. It's doing the opposite of what's in that bracket. The opposite of whatever's in the bracket, well, the x positive x squared becomes a minus x squared. The minus 3x becomes a plus 3x and the plus 2 becomes a minus 2. So we've written it out without the brackets. Now you rearrange the terms. Minus 1x squared plus x plus 3x minus 1 minus 2. Here we've written it out. 
And so let's just take and do like terms here. 3x minus, squared minus 1x squared is 2x squared. 1x plus 3x is 4x. Negative 1 minus 2 more is minus 3. So we are done. And uh, that's our expression for that one. One more example. We'll call it quits here. Again, this example, 5x squared minus 3xy plus 2y squared. There's nothing in front of that bracket, so everything inside the bracket stays the same when I drop the brackets. The next one has a minus sign in front of it, the second bracket, so I have to change the sign of everything in that bracket. So I get negative 8x squared plus 7xy's. If you catch this whole this whole concept of changing the signs because of the negative in front, it will save you a lot of grief and a lot of marks on tests. Um, so let's put the like terms together now. Which ones are like terms? Again, this one and this one. So 5x squared minus 8x squared. Uh, what else we got here? We got minus 3xy's and plus 7xy's. And finally we have uh, plus 2y squared plus 4y squareds. So let's put those together here and this becomes 5 minus 8 is negative 3x squareds. The uh, negative 3 plus 7 or 7 minus 3 is plus 4x1. Remember just add and subtract in the exponents in front. The letters stay the same and the exponents on those letters. And lastly we have this one here, which becomes uh, 2 plus 4 is just 6 y squareds. So there we go, adding and subtracting polynomials.